Okay, so this is the story of how I had to learn a language in seven days, but first, let me give you a little bit of background. My name is Sadia, and I'm a Canadian who, after university, decided to go traveling for six months. Within the first few weeks of my travels, I met Robin, and he was from the Netherlands, which I am ashamed to admit I would not have even been able to point out on a map at the time. And he was traveling in the break between finishing his master's and starting his PhD. And so we traveled to a few countries together, and we grew a very special bond. Where are we? In Paris. It's pretty obvious, I think. Within a year of knowing him, I sold my things and packed my bags and moved from Canada to the Netherlands. And so when I arrived, I applied for something called a partner visa, and I was granted five years to live and work in the Netherlands. But as a condition of my visa, I would need to take the Dutch integration exams. Otherwise, they very likely would not extend my visa. So there are five exams in total for this, all entirely in Dutch from start to finish, and consist of writing, reading, listening, speaking, and finally, an exam on Dutch culture, which includes knowing about Dutch politics, and monarchy, and history, and so on. So I've now lived in the Netherlands for almost five years, so I'm definitely not starting from zero when it comes to learning the language. I do hear it around me, and I did take a course a few years back, but I need to be honest and say that I have not given the language learning a priority at all. Getting by in English in this country is an absolute breeze. The Dutch are incredible at speaking English, and they often even want to practice it at any opportunity. So this is an excuse for sure, but I just feel like it gave me very little incentive to learn the language. If I had to choose between studying Dutch or working on content for pickup lines, pickup lines won every time. And so I was essentially just putting off studying, and that was made even more possible because my exam deadlines kept getting pushed back because of how everything has been closed for the last year. But then, out of nowhere, I got a letter in the mail saying that they had gone through the liberty of scheduling my exams for me, and they had moved them up by five months. Oh man, this is so stressful. What just happened? So I was supposed to take my integration exam, my Dutch integration exam, months ago, because of COVID, it got extended. I thought I had till August, so I was like, oh, I'll study in the spring and in the summer. And now I got a letter that I have to take it on Monday. It is Wednesday evening. On Monday, Thursday, and Friday, because there's five parts. I haven't prepared, and I'm supposed to take five hours worth of exams in Dutch next week. And I don't think they're going to change it. If I do nothing else and only study Dutch for the next five days, what's that going to do? What's five days going to do in learning a language? Oh my god. Do you want to introduce yourself? Do I have anything to ID? You have like five things. Oh no! <laughs> you actually have a thing to do. Do you want to really? Yeah. Okay, I well, was I joking about you. Do I really? Wait, you have like a little oh, thing. Oh, I feel it. So this is my very dear friend Nathaniel. If you haven't watched any of his YouTube videos, you're in for an absolute treat. And if you do know him already, then you know that he has a strong passion for learning new languages and immersing himself in different cultures. So I asked him to share his thoughts and insights on the struggles and rewards of language learning. When I knew that I got the message that I needed to take this exam in like four days, the first person I called and messaged was like, Nathaniel, I was like, Nathaniel, what do I do? <laughs> I can't You're showing me right now. <laughs> <laughs> I love learning. I love learning. I don't like being quizzed on what I've learned. You love being quizzed, but only when you know that you're that you're gonna ace it. Yeah, that too. No, but generally, who likes to be tested? It's just it's a nerve-wracking feeling. That's true. I'm super confident that you're gonna make it. So I'm gonna break my process of learning Dutch up into three different phases. For me, the first phase was just to try to learn the basics. So we're talking basic sentence structure, but also trying to learn the kind of most commonly used words. I was just trying to do the absolute minimum in order to start to build some confidence when it came to trying to speak the language. If you really think about it, a language represents oftentimes tens or, I mean, usually hundreds of thousands of different words. And it's sort of like an unimaginable amount of different bits of information that you're trying to memorize, right. which is completely overwhelming and yeah. I can feel like an enormous mountain that you have to climb. Absolutely. Ten minutes. 
At least. Good so. You're four. Um, there are four? Yeah. Damn it! And this is Raila. Raila. Raila, I keep doing that. Raila is exchange. All right. You finished your words. And the truth is, that if you break it down, you don't need the majority of that to get started and to start having these really interesting, exciting exchanges. Um, I think that's what I was trying to do early on, when even before this, like years ago when I was trying to pick up Dutch, is like, I really was fixating on learning vocabulary first. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to talk and have conversations because I was like, I can't have conversations until I understand the vocabulary right. because I'm going to constantly be like, how do you say this thing? How do you say that verb? How do you say this? So I was trying to study lists of words, which I don't think was the best way to begin. Mm -hmm. yeah. The keys fly. The keys, the choices. Kiezen is choosing. The choice is the keuze. What's this one? Keys is smaller. Oh my god, I'm gonna fail. Even that, it's like just having these random words but lacking the ability to connect them all together into a sentence, it makes these words far less useful to you. Right. On what day are we now? How many days have you studied? Oh my gosh, like three and a half? Three and a half days. Three and a half days. When is your exam? Tomorrow. Oh my god, that sounds so scary. Tomorrow morning. But I keep making the same mistakes over and over and it's driving me like mental. Like, are you genuinely, be honest with me, are you seeing an improvement? Yes. So then it was time to move on to phase two, which was to start having some conversations in Dutch. But I noticed that all I wanted to do was to write and read Dutch in order to learn the language. And I was completely avoiding speaking it because frankly, speaking it felt incredibly humiliating. Language is meant to be used. Language, yeah. I always say, is experiential. Language is inherently human-based and it's yeah. interaction-based, right? There is an exchange that's taking place and I think the faster you can get to that stage, the yeah. better. And for me, that's the exciting part. It's like, okay, I've been gathering all these tools. Yeah. I want to start using them. I mean, the difficult part of this is that you do have to shut off that perfectionistic side. This is which so is, uh, hard. You're going to sound very, you know, oftentimes not intelligent. There's no way to leapfrog the stage of figuring it out and sounding like a dummy sometimes. I know, but it's so uncomfortable. And that's the thing, like, yes. Baby. It just feels so stupid. It feels so stupid when you want to say something and you can't. And I know, I know that's the way to learning a language. I know, but it's just like that's probably why I don't speak it often enough because I just feel stupid. I know you want to be able to converse on the same level as you would when you speak your, your own native language, but you really need. Trust me when I say that you have, in the last three days, four days, you have gone from here to here. This is the road to fluency. I feel like I do it on a daily basis. I'm saying things that are a little bit incorrect, or I'm correcting myself. Like, that's how conversation works. Yeah. I'll pause, I'll look for my words. But suddenly it feels so much worse when you're doing it in the foreign yeah, language. So true. But it doesn't matter. Like, what matters is the exchange. To get better at speaking, there's a, there's a musicality to language and you have to speak it. Like, you, you're, you will train your ears to know what it Sounds should sound right, like. Right. And the only way, you cannot read your way to that. You know what I mean? Like, I it's, a, it's actually a different skill. Having the ability to communicate in a language is actually multiple different things, right? right? That's why they, they spread it out into different tests. Right, and right. Comprehension in terms of you know, listening, listening or reading, reading and also speaking. Today's a big day. My first test, I'm so nervous. I'm like out of practice for set. Like I haven't taken a test in seven years. I'm so proud of you though. You're gonna do great. Let's go to school. Let's go. <laughs> Love you. you. You're gonna do it. Power posing. One hour later. I'm confident I passed. If I didn't pass, they're way too hard, like they're way too strict. All the practice exams really, really help. I know for sure there's a few things I did that like aren't correct, but yeah. Minor mistakes. I'm hoping minor mistakes. So anyway, next exam is like in three hours, I need to study. Let's go. So after the Monday, it meant my speaking exam was next. This is the one I was easily the most nervous for, and I would have only two and a half days to prepare for it. So that was 
so scary and also equally um, strange and embarrassing because I was asking some friends to practice with me, but these are friends that I had only ever previously spoken English with. Super yeah. <laughs> yeah. Heel uh, uncomfortable? Is that in a Nederlands word? <laughs> The truth is, yeah, you're not going to learn Dutch unless you create the right environment to be able to continue doing this. Mm -hmm. And and the truth is, yeah, you've spent the last four years creating an environment that is not Dutch friendly. It's English friendly, you know? That's very true. And everybody's facilitating that. Yeah. This is just me speaking honestly. It's good. It's you okay. Yeah. I, I always hear, hear from everyone that it's a very difficult language to learn Dutch. It doesn't help when the Dutch people say it themselves all the time, you know? I know. I will say that your experiences here will be richer. And your relationships yeah, yeah. will be richer. That's true. Your understanding of Robin will be deeper. That's true. If you learn the, the language. Yeah. Het maakt mijn verjaardag. Verdrietig. The truth is, there's a person in the world, I think, that doesn't like it when some foreigner is trying to speak their mother tongue. And when you That's establish, like, I'm here to learn this language yeah. and speak this, yeah. help me. People will help you. Yeah. Zijn we op nemen voor YouTube? Ja, als je wil. Ja. Ja. Met Nederlands gaat best goed. Nee. Wel, het gaat super goed. Nee. Ja, zo. Het is moeilijk in Nederlands. Zoveel woorden. Ja. Ja. Oh man. <laughs> het klinkt wel grappig als je Nederlands spreekt. Ja, dat is leuk, hè? Ja, dat is wel leuk, hè? Ik vind het heel, ik vind het heel lief. Ja, het klinkt heel lief, ja. <laughs> But it is a trade-off, like it is a big personal investment. This is something I say to people a lot too. It's like, are you actually ready to learn a language? Yeah. Because it is many hours of time and energy, a fair amount of frustration. A lot of frustration. You know, and, and that's a big part of it. But I think the payoff is really worth it at the end. I have more self-vertrouwen vandaag than two days ago. Oh, that was very good. Ik moet echt doorgaan met Nederlands oefenen. Ja. Ja. After na mijn examen. Ja. Dat komt goed. Ik praat alleen nog Nederlands. Ja. <laughs> nee, voor jou dat is heel saai. Denk ik. <laughs> voor Robin ook. Ik vind, ik vind het niet zo? heel saai. Ik nee. Vind het fijn dat ik iets kan doen, dat je kan helpen. <laughs> oh, dankjewel dan. Ik vind het echt niet saai. I'm dying. I'm dying. I don't like you because I don't like Dutch people right now. Drie, twee, één. Ik kan niet even zeggen. Something jouw mond op. Dicht, dicht jouw mond op. Je moet je mond dicht houden. Je moet jouw mond dicht houden. Who needs this language anyway? All Dutch people speak English. Did I already know this? I did. Oh. Well, at least you're swearing even though. <laughs> so at some point, you know, like prisoners or what, like captives, they just start making the best of the situation, you know? They get their humor back and stuff. This is you right now. Many, many minutes later. I think I passed that for sure. Yeah, you did? Yeah, I think so. Oh, are we almost done? Are we almost done? <laughs> so to say that this is all like an intense week is a bit of an understatement. I, I do feel like I, I learned and gained so much ground in those seven days, more than I had in the four and a half years that came before it for sure. But I was a little bit nervous that, you know, after all of the exams were said and done, that I would go back to speaking predominantly English only. And so that kind of takes us into phase three, which is trying to immerse myself every now and then. I mean, I would say that at this stage, based off of my understanding of your level in Dutch, the way you could really accelerate the process for yourself is if you had no English days. Like, this Sunday is gonna be a no English day. I like where that. Where <clears throat> all music is gonna be in Dutch. Robin will only speak to you in Dutch. You're gonna watch a Dutch movie at night. You're not allowing yourself to have the English. And your brain, it's, it's a painful, uncomfortable process, okay. but your brain will start figuring it out. It's incredible. Yay. Oh my God. I'm done. <laughs> Very good. Nice. Honestly, it genuinely feels like a whole a massive weight has been lifted off of my mind. Anyway, those are my final thoughts. Thanks, man. Yeah. I appreciate you. I appreciate, appreciate you. Good job. Thanks. Congrats on, on, on learning Dutch. 
partly. I'm getting there. And then over the course of the next few weeks, the exam results started to trickle in one at a time. Hey, passed one of them. Well done. Ah, uh, three of five. What? All right, the results. Felicitiered. Three. Three. Dum, 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 dum. Yeah! <laughs> Congratulations! Felicitaire! You passed nice. all of them. Yeah. I knew it! Wow. I knew it! Wow, what a relief! How was that you? Zoom, 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 zoom. Zo do to the bye. What? What's the bye? The bee. It's a bee. Zoom, zoom? Zoom, zoom. zoom, zoom. What we say? Bzzz. Yeah. Cargo zoom. Yeah, it's a good, the bee says zoom zoom. So if you've made it this far in the video, I just wanted to say thank you for being interested in this little journey of mine. I genuinely am curious to see where these next few years take Robin and I, whether we're going to stay in the Netherlands or move back to Canada, I really don't know. But at least for now, I know that I'm in Geburgerd, which is really exciting. And now I'm just really hoping that they renew my visa. I also wanted to welcome you to check out Nathaniel Drew's channel if you haven't already. His videos are such a pleasure to watch. He's such an incredible storyteller. I'm sure you're going to love it. So I'm going to leave his channel link for you in the description box as well. And thanks so much for hanging with me today. Pickup Lines signing off. We'll see you in the next video. What? Echo. <laughs> when you laugh, I can hear like. Yeah. Ching, ching. <laughs>